guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a dread video. So just to fill you in, I had a video that got just about 5 million views. I'm almost there. Um, it was about me taking out my dreadlocks. I have no idea why that video got 5 million views, but it did. That video was like, just, it helped me out in so many ways. I can't explain to you guys. Thank you for 5 million views. <laughs> And a lot of people under that video have asked me, how did you make those synthetic dreadlocks? Because I actually handmade them myself. It took me like a month, because um, they take a while. So today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made my synthetic dreadlocks. I'm gonna be showing you how to make double-ended synthetic dreadlocks in this video. Um, so yeah, really simple. It takes a while, but I'm not gonna say it's hard. Um, not everyone can do it, but I'm gonna try to tell you in the most simplest way possible how I do it. A subscriber actually hit me up on Snapchat and was like, hey, if I paid you, could you make me a set of dreadlocks? So that is the dreadlocks I'm making right now and that I'm gonna be showing you guys. Um, <laughs> she wants me to make blonde and purple for her. So yeah. And I think it's a cool idea. Like, she doesn't have to buy it off of Etsy or whatever. I'm just gonna make it for her and send it to her. So I mean, if you guys want dreadlocks, hit me up, girl. So now I'm just gonna show you guys everything that you need to make dreadlocks, so let's get into that. So the first thing that you will need is um, two combs, or just one comb, doesn't really matter. I kind of prefer like this kind, but doesn't really matter what kind of comb you use. And then I just have this like pet brush. This is actually very important. I have a large one and that small one. I just have a crochet hook right here and some scissors. And I have a spray bottle. You will need a washcloth of any size, it doesn't really matter. You will need a hair straightener. And then obviously you will need your hair. Just 100% Kanekalon hair. I have blonde and purple over there. You can just get that from your local beauty supply store. So here's just some examples of dreads that I've made. This is the set I'm making right now for the subscriber and that we'll be making today. This is the set you guys have seen in the videos before. And then this is just some miscellaneous ones that I've made, um, kind of like fails. So yeah, that's everything that you need. So here I have a piece of my Kanekalon hair. Um, it's a pretty small piece because I'm making kind of like smaller dreads here. You can try to make all your pieces like kind of the same length, but honestly this is where it gets kind of weird. Um, I am going to put this in like between my toe, ignore that scratch. You're going to put it between your toe and I kind of like wrap it so that it stays. There is easier ways to do this. Not easier, it's actually harder ways, which is why I do it between my toe, because honestly, it works. So, we are gonna take our cat grooming device and just start going like that. They're, like I don't really know how to explain it. You're just gonna push it back. Um, not too, too much, but just enough to get it started. You are gonna have loose strands at the top. You end up cutting those off, just ones that you can't get down. Um, but just get it like good enough. Obviously all your dreads are gonna be different lengths because I mean, it's inedible. And it looks more natural that way anyway. Now I would like to say, like for my video, a lot of people obviously, like most of the comments are hate, which I'm fine with, but um, I do have to say that that video did make my dreads look really bad because of the ring light, but in person, they really didn't look as bad as the video. Like, they actually looked more real than it looked. I would like just to say that. Oh, I don't even know if I told you guys, but I moved on to this comb, and I'm going to use, like, the thinner side and do it more detailed, like, push it back and comb it back. I don't really, I don't really comb my dreads out that much, like a lot of people do. Um, I just don't feel like it really needs it, but I'm going to move on to the other side. So you're just going to undo that and hook it again on the other side, the same way that you did the other side. So when you finish, it should look crazy looking and just like a big rat's nest, and that's exactly what you want. You want it like as crazy as you can possibly get it, to be honest. Um, I'm actually gonna work a little bit more on this side, because it's 
it's not ideal for me. Now's the part where I'm gonna look at the ends and there's gonna be like little strangly hairs that just wouldn't come back and you are just gonna cut those off. Not like bluntly though. Just kind of a little snippity snip. <laughs> so there we go, I cut it off and you can't really see it, but. We're going to wrap it around our toe again. I know it sounds weird, but I promise um, I'm not the only one that does this. It's, it, it works, so. But anyways, you should you should have had your straightener um, heating up this whole time. I guess I should have said that earlier in the video. As well as you should have wet, you should have wet your washcloth a little bit. Um, yeah, not a little bit, a lot in the sink or whatever. But you should still also have your spray bottle handy to wet it up. But we're just going to begin twisting the dread. And that is literally it. Just twist it all the way down. Tightly, may I add. kind of press my thumbs into the hair and then like twist it as I press it down I don't know if that makes any sense but like I guess you can kind of see what I'm doing I'm like pressing it into the next thing that makes no sense so once I get to about here and I still I still have that big like tail but I'm gonna start now so you're gonna take your wet washcloth put it over that strand like just like this um, if you want, you can take your spray bottle and spray it a little bit, because it's already wet, so. And you're going to take your straightener now, and you're just going to seam it. So just hold it over the washcloth over the hair. Do not put the straightener directly on the hair, because it is plastic. Kanekalon hair is made out of plastic, so you're just going to melt it. But this just steams it together. And essentially, it's melting it together, but not necessarily. Be very careful. This is hot. It is very hot. Um, so just be careful not to burn yourself. If you start to hear the steam not making as much like noise or something, um, just go ahead and spray it with some water and it should make more of that steam noise. So you can either just leave it there for a second or take it off, but I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, now you are gonna just keep going down kind of to the bottom and literally just repeat what you just did. By the way, this would not damage your hair straightener. I mean, that is not fact, um, but that's just my opinion. So when I get to the very end, I don't know if you guys can see this, um, I pretty much just slide it on through, kind of slower than usual. Just because it's hard to twist the end and get it sealed. So this is how our dread is looking. Um, pretty good. I mean, once they're all together and everything, you really can't tell. So we're going to go ahead and twist that around our toe. And we're going to start twisting the other side. guys so this is our finished dreadlock as you can see that was not that hard it's nothing crazy it's pretty simple it just takes a long time it's a very lengthy process this right here takes me 20 minutes it takes me about 20 minutes to make one dread all right guys i really hope you enjoyed this long awaited video um it's simple it's short but there's so many people in the in the comment section of that video just asking how do I, how did i make them so here you go, this video is for you. Again, if you want me to make you dreadlocks, then just hit me up on Instagram at badxmommy um, and we can work something out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you, you're beautiful, and good, bye.